Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael from Family Gaming Review and today for day 25 for the Light It Up Blue 30 Day Game Challenge, we are going to play Four Sided Fantasy. Now, you're going to wonder what this game is and why this is on the Light It Up Blue Challenge for Autism Awareness. Now, I'm going to tell you why. This is a fantastic game. Uh, we ran on over this game, or ran over, excuse me, we saw this game on an upcoming list that we always post once a week, you know, for all new indie titles that are coming out and so forth. And what it is is that, as you see how cool that was, you could, we'll get into that in a few moments. Now, what it makes this game unique is the fact that the game is literally out of box style of thinking. And you'll see in a moment, like, as you see the borders around the TV, well, excuse me, the monitor, it allows you to help solve puzzles. Now, this is literally a game that takes the term thinking out of the box and just reinvents it. As you see here, the controls, I'm playing the demo as I don't want, you know, pretty much any spoilers to be given away. And actually, it's supposed to be left trigger, but it's saying right trigger. But the objective is, is to pass puzzles and you could switch between a man and a mo woman as they're going through f all four seasons. Now, as you ask yourself, what does this meaning? What does this mean about the seasons? You'll see as you play through the game, uh, this is not a let's play session, more or less. It's more of a reason why this is on the 30 day challenge. Now, again, it's all about out of the box thinking and here at the office people everyone when this game came to us for review this was the first thing that everyone saw was like oh my god they were like this is amazing this is one of the most unique games that we've seen in a long while and as you see here in order to solve the puzzle i am going to use that ability to think out of the box and transverse to the other side now this is not going to be a long broadcast, but this is something, especially for anyone that's on the spectrum, any loved ones that are in your gaming family, this is a highly recommended game. Now, this was one of our more recent features on FamilyGamerReview.com because it's such an... I, I can't even think of the wording. This is where Camille comes in because she's a lot better at wording than I am, but this is such a fun game. It's such a unique game, you know, to say the least. And. It's not frustrating. It's not like if you can't solve the puzzle, you, you know, you fail the game and, you know, you have to start all over. No, it's it has save points, so it's automatically saved. So you could always go back and play those save points and try to refigure out, like, what's going on. Now, another reason why this is on the Light It Up Blue Challenge is the fact that it makes you think. Now, puzzle games have always been, like, a caveat of... Either it's too simple to solve the puzzle, or it's too difficult. And towards the end of our Light of the Blue Challenge, we actually have another game um, called Typo Man Revised that we're going to visit. But as you see in that game versus this game, this is more about platforming and thinking like, okay, if I'm faced with something like this, how do I solve it? And, you know, as you see here, I just can't run off the edge of the screen. How do I solve this problem? So, as, again, I don't want to make this into, like, a spoiler session of, like, how to solve all the puzzles and everything. But, as you saw there, I was able to warp from one side to the other and, you know, be able to pass this area. Again, guys, this is, for especially with children with special needs, this is just a phenomenal game. It's just, it's, it's non-violent. There's no type of language or actually any spoken dialogue it's all about just exploration and just overall fun uh you know uh, you know as we always say that you know if you're not having fun when you're playing or if you're not thinking when you're playing then you're not being challenged and and i know there's times people say hey mike i, I just want to play a game where i just veg out and just you know just you know save the universe or do whatever i'm doing and and that's okay and but then there's times where you want to play a game in which you want to be challenged. You want to be able to say, like, okay, how do I solve this? Or what do I do? And and so forth. And this is one of those games. Also, this is a great game as in because of the puzzle solving, as we saw with a lot of our, you know, the special needs gamers. They love to sit there. Um, 
one of the uh, children that we worked with, he actually sat and drew patterns on a notebook. He, he wanted a notebook and he wanted to draw the patterns on there so he could better solve each puzzle and understand how they work. Now, me, I am horrible at puzzle games. If you ask anyone, they'll tell you that Mike is horrible. But this is one of those games that's not frustrating. This is one of those games that's actually fun. And, you know, as you get into more of the game, you get to more solve things and, you know, do everything. I mean, there's not much more I could say from the gaming aspect other than the fact that it's a must-have for your digital library. Now, Camille will come in in a few moments, and she's going to talk from a mommer's aspect of why this game is a must-have. But be aware, um, once you beat the game, the game can be beaten within, you know, I would say roughly three to four hours. Uh, there is a New Game Plus mode. Um, for those that don't know what New Game Plus is, it's like imagine having all the abilities when you first beat a game, and you start off new, and you have those same weapons and gear and so forth. But again, this is spoiler free, so I won't say what comes with you once you, you know, complete the game on the first time around. So, as you see here, I can't solve this puzzle for the life of me. One of you out there that is watching the broadcast probably knows the solution, says, Mike, really? Really, Mike? But, <laughs> again, this is all about self-discovery, as in you try to figure out what to do. So, also keep in mind, uh, parents that have purchased this game, uh, this is also available on the PC. So, if you're, you know, if you're gamers or PC bound, this is available through Steam, and this is... A, it's really inexpensive. Um, I would highly recommend it. So what I'm going to do is for the sake of me not losing my sanity because I can't pass this level and I can't talk in game at the same time, I'm going to get Camille on the headset and I'm going to let her talk about why this is a great game from a mommer's aspect. So give me one second to transfer the headset. Hey everyone, it's Camille from Family Gamer Review. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight for the 30-day Light It Up Blue Challenge, day 25. Uh, Four-sided fantasy is... <laughs> there should be another F in there for fabulous. Uh, I would like to think that I speak at least a little bit on Dad's behalves as well, because Dad's, you should be just as involved... Uh, in your child's gaming as mom is or you know uh, there's all types of families these days whether you're a single mom single dad doesn't matter our goal is to help you make the best possible gaming purchases for your family especially if you have any special needs members now four-sided fantasy has the three C's I'm going to call them uh, from a special needs aspect and this also applies believe it or not to kids who aren't on the spectrum in any way at all uh, four-sided fantasy it, it, it the developmental skills that it touches upon the most from what we could see in our playtesting were creativity and cognitive skills obviously uh, well, it's in according to our testing and our opinion, uh, it's pretty obvious that yes, it does require uh, some cognitive skills to play the game. Uh, that said, it's easy enough for anyone to pick up and play. Creativity here is a must, uh, and I absolutely love that about it because. It doesn't just encourage the creativity of your gamer, it demands it. And that is where it's just great to know that your gamer is playing a game that can actually do something for them positive, uh, positively in terms of their developmental skills. Uh, another great quality about Four-Sided Fantasy is calm. Uh, both for the gamer and for the gamer's family. If you happen to have a special needs child who had an overstimulating day, uh, maybe was in a crowded, busy place with lots of noise and too much action, uh, Foresighted Fantasy is a game that you can pop in and just watch that overwhelm disappear. 
By the very same token, if you happen to be in the next room and you're on the phone or maybe you're uh, working from home and you're in the middle of a, a Skype meeting or whatever the case is, or maybe you're just unwinding after work, uh, not only will this game not cause you to yell into the next room, hey, turn that down. Uh, the game can be very, very calming for parents as well. Uh, it's, it's stimulating enough for anyone to really get a cognitive kick out of it and feel challenged. Uh, and definitely you have to think out of the box. This is one of those... Uh, I know people uh, buy those books all the time, you know... 75 puzzles that will help you think out of the box. Well, four-sided fantasy is is more fun than one of those books, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's great for uh, really anyone of any age. Uh, but Mike, what is the ESRB rating on this? Yeah, you know, we're we're pretty sure you can double check the uh, original review on familygamerreview.com. Uh, but I remember that that uh, we believe it was rated E for everyone. Uh, not to mention that it got a fabulous score uh, because there is literally nothing offensive in this game anywhere. There's no dialogue. The game sound effects, as well as the ambient sound in the background, is extremely calming. Uh, so there's really nothing negative that can be said about this game. Uh, it was just done beautifully. Is that a little power up there, Mike? Battery. Ah, okay, that was a battery allows you to warp. Oop. And one thing you notice right there... Yay. Uh... Another thing that you may notice is how non-punishing the game is. Uh... When you... Uh... Run into static, in case you haven't noticed, uh... When you run into sort of a sea of static, that's how your character gets quote-unquote killed, but it's not really killed, you just start over. But you don't start over from the beginning of the level or the beginning of the game, so there's no frustration there. And that's good, because if you follow us online, and we hope you do, the one thing you know is we are not fond of games that cause game rage. Uh, no, Gamer Rage is definitely not cool, and it's uh, also a terrible waste of your money. And it's also very detrimental to gamers uh, of any age, but especially young gamers. So, uh, we definitely don't like anything that causes frustration, and with Four-Sided Fantasy, you'll never have to worry about that. So, to sum everything up, uh, I don't want Mike to give away too much of the beauty of this game. It's definitely something that you should experience for yourself. Uh, Mike, wh what's this retailing for right now and where? Hmm? Okay. No, that's okay. Uh, just to give you a general ballpark idea. Woohoo! Achievement! Fantastic! That's another F for four sided fantasy, and in this case, Fs are good. Uh, I'm sorry that we don't know for sure at the moment, but from what we can remember, uh, the game is in the ballpark of 999. To fourteen ninety nine, uh, so it is a very inexpensive uh, investment into a fabulous digital title for the whole family, 
It's available on Steam. It's available on Xbox One, on PlayStation 4. Uh, so, I mean, this one is... It's definitely a great one to pick up. Oh, no, I, I think you have to go above, but not too high. There, oh, there you go. Ooh, I got one. Right, we don't want to give spoilers away, but I wanted to let you know this is not a... You know, a, one of those blockbuster $60 new titles. This game, in all of its greatness, is only 10 to 15 bucks, and it's available on almost any platform. Uh, not Nintendo Switch, because Nintendo Switch is still very new, so they're still building their catalog very much. Um, Yes, we would love this. Oh, this would be fabulous for a mobile console. Uh, but it's not yet on the Switch. But it is available on the PC, on Xbox One, on PlayStation 4. And uh, remember those three C's. Cognitive, creative, or creativity, and calm. Uh, and fun. It's, it's not a boring game. It's very engaging and it's very fun. Uh, it's something that really anyone would enjoy. And forgive me, Mike, I'm going to mention one last thing. I'm actually going to put Foresighted Fantasy on the wine challenge list. Uh, <laughs> the, no, I'd, I'm not, you know... My my tummy's not too uh, too happy about any drinking right now, so I'm not doing this myself. But uh, I can tell you that if you are the type of person who comes home from a very stressful day of work and you usually wind down and kick off your stress with a glass of wine. I challenge you to uh, instead put in four-sided fantasy for about 15-20 minutes and I'm willing to bet that you will get just as much relaxation if not more from 15 to 20 minutes of playing the game and don't worry you can still go back and drink your wine uh, but the same applies to your child because like I said especially if you have a child with autism or any other part of the spectrum uh, this is a great game to calm down after uh, an experience that's been a little bit too overwhelming so we'd love to thank everyone for tuning in and being with us tonight Mike what do we have on deck for tomorrow night Ah, that's right. We we were mistaken last night. Tomorrow night is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Uh, and that is... It, it's truly the ultimate uh, family game. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. It's w definitely one of my favorites. But do pick up a copy of Foresighted Fantasy. It is a purchase you will not regret. And your gamer's gonna love it. So, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you, and then Oh, yes. Uh, if anyone has any questions, where should they contact us, Mike? Uh, yeah, we're everywhere on social media. Uh, if you go to familygamerreview.com, you can find all of our social media profiles. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, <laughs> not MySpace, but all of the rest of them, pretty much. Uh, so please uh, reach out to us. We've been get getting a lot of great feedback as well as questions from all of our broadcasts during the 30 day light it up blue challenge and we welcome them it's exactly why we're doing this and we're happy to see so many families uh, being introduced to really great titles for kids with autism and the whole family in general so i'm going to lean over here and ask mike to say good oh wait 
almost I'm, I'm at it. Not to show the solution. Oh no! Don't don't show the solution. Wish wish everyone a good night. All right, everyone, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in, and tune in tomorrow to see lovers in a dangerous space time. Take care.